The Washington State Cougars are at odds of 150 to 1 to win the college football national championship. The team is at odds of 15 to 1 to win the Pac-12 conference championship. Last season saw the Cougars go 9 and 4 straight up while going 6 and 3 in the Pac-12. The team went 10 and 3 against the spread and 5 and 8 on the over/under. The Washington State Cougars are coming off their most successful season since 2003. The offense under head coach Mike Leach was explosive as the Cougars scored over 31 points per game. The Cougars have quarterback Luke Falk, who threw for more than 4,500 yards last season. Keeping Falk healthy is a huge key as he got knocked out of three games last season and the offense struggled without him under center. The Cougars got a break in the offseason when receiver Gabe Marks decided to return instead of heading to the NFL. Marks had 1,192 receiving yards and led the Pac-12 with 15 touchdown catches last season. The Cougars need to avoid dropping back into mediocrity. They need to improve their defense that allowed nearly 28 points per game last season. Winning shootouts happened a lot last season for the Cougars, but it might not be as easy in 2016. The early season schedule for Washington State is very difficult as the Cougars have to play Boise State Oregon and Stanford in the first five weeks. Getting to nine wins again this season might prove difficult for Washington State because of their schedule. The Cougars have a potent offense led by quarterback Luke Falk, who threw for more than 4,500 yards last season. He threw 38 touchdowns and had just eight interceptions. His favorite receiver is Beletnikoff Award semifinalist Gabe Marks, who caught 104 passes for 1,192 yards and 15 touchdowns last season. Also returning are Robert Lewis and River Craycraft, the Cougars also have speedster Tavares Martin at receiver. The top three running backs, Gerard Wicks, Jamal Morrow, and Keith Harrington all return. Wicks had 610 rushing yards on 5.7 yards per carry. Harrington was a good receiver as well as he had 312 yards on 43 catches. Freshman James Williams could also see playing time this season, along with Clemson transfer Kyron Priester and recruit Isaiah Johnson. The offensive line returns three starters, but Washington State has to break in two new starters in Andre Dillard and Cody O'Connell. And keeping Falk healthy is a huge key as the Cougars do not have a capable backup quarterback. The Cougars were better on defense last season under coordinator Alex Grinch as they went from allowing 38.6 points per game to 27.7. The defensive line has to replace two all-conference defensive ends, but the team does have Hercules Mata'afa and they bring back nose tackle Robert Barber. The linebackers look to be Logan Tago, Dylan Hanser, and Namdi Oguayu, along with Peyton Peloer and Frankie Luyu. The secondary was good last season, led by junior college transfer Shalom Luani at strong safety. Darian Moulton and Marcellus Pippins return at cornerback, while Charleston White and Dion Singleton should also see playing time. The Cougars were a major surprise last year as they had their first winning season in more than a decade. There is no question that Washington State is going to score a lot of points again with Falk at quarterback, but the defense still isn't that good and the schedule for Washington State in 2016 is difficult. Teams often fall back after having a surprise season, and there's a good chance that that happens to the Cougars this year. The Cougars should still win at least six games and get into a bowl game, but matching last year's nine wins seems unlikely.